So what we're going to do today is talk about labeling foods as good and bad and how that's causing a bit of a mindset meltdown when it comes down to nutrition. So at the minute, I don't know if you're like me, where everywhere you look these days, you met from advertisements, from nutrition companies, from the papers, social media, where there's nutrition plans that involve things like clean eating, sinful foods, good or bad labels. So from my point of view, this is one of the reasons where we see so many people struggle with what is good, what is bad, what is healthy, what is unhealthy. And for us, this is where we see so much confusion when it comes down to nutrition and what to eat. So let's think of this. If we're labeling foods as good or bad, what does it do? So first things first, when you label something as good, it's giving you permission to eat that food and feel good whilst you're eating it. But then think of the flip side. If we call in something a bad food, what does that do? Well, for a start, it puts you in a position where if you do eat that food, you're gonna feel guilty and shameful, which isn't necessarily a good thing because when you're following a plan, you don't want feelings or negative feelings associated with what you're doing. The reason being, it causes disconnect. And how many times do we see people start off plans and struggle halfway through and then stop and grind to a halt? So the thing that we're forgetting the most is that there is no good and there is no bad. The thing that we're forgetting is its moderation. And with pretty much anything, the devil's always gonna lie in the dosage. So the best thing to follow is the thing with no labels. The thing that's keeping you mentally sane and keeping your mindset from meltdown when it comes down to nutrition and foods. And at the end of the day, the only label that should be on your food is a how much it costs and what's in it. I'm Simon Hall, thanks for watching, and if you wanna see more, Check out these.